Hey everybody, and welcome back to Investment Hunting, where we talk about various crypto projects. Before we begin, I want to let you know that I'm not your financial advisor. I do not provide financial advice on the channel, and I don't even encourage you to invest. But what I'm going to do is share with you my own personal opinion and views on the projects discussed on the channel. So with that said, we're looking at BSC Bull, and they just completed completed their pre-sale on Pink Sale. So they had a hard cap of 150 BNB. Uh, they did successfully complete that. You can see that the progress bar is completely filled in. And it says here the pool has ended, okay, and indicating right here the pool or the sale has ended. However, we'll still go ahead and take a look, you know, at this pre-sale and the details here. We got some badges. So they've got an audit and a KYC and say foo badge. Now, as far as the audit's concerned, it did pass with issues. There's a medium severity issue, unnecessary use of safe math. That was highlighted in the audit findings. Um, and let's see here, as far as the KYC. Uh, that was just, you know, regular K, uh, Pixel KYC. So, all right. So with that being said, we do have the socials here. It says here that BSC Bull, they're the pioneers of passive income, experienced a thrill of flawless crypto rewards and staking with BSC Bull's custom dashboard. Your pass to our ecosystem. Hodl the token, earn BNB, stake it, earn more of the native token. Small 150 BNB hard cap, no vesting, SafeFu, KYC, audit staking, dashboard, low tax, 4 and 4 uh, with BNB rewards, CMC, and CoinGecko within 24 hours. And then we also see a video here, which you guys know we don't engage with the videos as we do projects on the channel. So we can see some additional details here in regards to the sale. The minimum buy on this one was 0.1, max was 3 BNB. Now you guys know if you've heard me talk about you know any of pro any of the pre-sale pro projects you know that I've addressed in the channel. I typically like to see nothing more than one BNB, you know, as far as like a maximum, you know, pre-sale contribution. But you know, teams are going to do what they're going to do. So this one decided to go with three, which I don't think is too crazy. Uh, total con uh, contributions here: 130 wallets. You know, so uh, we also see a self soft cap of 75 beans, hard cap 150 beans. Uh, lit liquidity unlocked time: we're looking at a year. All right, and then we also get the token metrics here. The only concern here was at the 5%, you know, the unlocked tokens, you know, but if the team sees the video, you can always go ahead and weigh in on what's going on there. As far as, you know, why there was 5%, you know, unlocked. Um, let's go ahead and transition to the um, white paper. So here we are. We're just going to go ahead and preview, you know, what's going on here with their documentation. So we can kind of see what we have here, the intro reward system, some talk about the staking platform, so we know on the on the tax, it's a low tax token. Everybody likes low tax, so four in and four out. Three percent, you know, BNB rewards on the buy side, and then one percent to goes to marketing. That's the breakdown. Um, and then uh, let's see here. We take a look at the roadmap. I'll go ahead and I'll make this a little bit bigger for you guys. All right. So in phase one, we get the logo design. Uh, we get the website release. You know, uh, community uh, creations, white paper release. That's all in phase one. Phase two, influencer promotion. Audit KYC, save foo. Obviously, we saw all of that right there. Um, and then we get the D app rewards, public uh, pre sale and pink sale. So that we just completed that in the staking platform. So basically, we're heading into launch three, which will be the launch on, launch on pink swap. So I, apparently, um, the launch for this one should be tomorrow. So I think that's what I saw in their telegram. Major listings such as CMC and CoinGecko centralized exchange. We don't get any kind of tier, you know, or specifics, you know, beyond, you know, as far as, you know, what centralized exchange are looking for. Promotions, that's all marketing. Billboards, more marketing. Then looking at phase four, we get bridges, more centralized exchange. Again, we don't get any additional details in regards to tiers or specific centralized exchanges. They're looking at Certic audits, which, you know, I've said this before. Doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever to go ahead and go for a certic, you know, later on, later on in your roadmap, or in this case, the last phase of, you know, your roadmap. I mean, honestly, nobody cares in regards to getting a certic, you know, at that stage. I mean, if you want to get a certic, get one out the door. That's just my personal opinion. And keep in mind, a certic audit can cost you, you know, five figures, you know, in terms of getting the audit done. You know, could that money be? you know, reallocated, you know, towards, you know, just more exposure, you know, for the token as opposed to, you know, an audit. Um, that's just my own personal opinion. Huge con competitions and holder giveaways, tier one centralized exchange listings. So we do get a little bit of specifics here, but they mentioned centralized exchange listings several times. One here, they also mention it here. They also mention it, you know, here. I don't know that we need three different phases, you know, or instances, you know, where they're mentioning, 
uh, centralized exchanges. That's just my own thought there. T-Unit, not Photodocs, but again, we get the KYC. And then we get security information here as well, and some disclaimers in, this, in the ending. So we're going to transfer to the main page. We also see we get some links up here in the navigation bar, along with a link to the dashboard. It says, Welcome to BSC Bull. And this is just the same information that we saw you know, on Pink Sale. We also get some buttons here, one for the dashboard, one for the white paper. And the introduction, you know, to the BSC Bull. So they give you some information here. I'm not going to go through all of that. So they talk about the utility of the BSC Bull. You always want to focus on, you know, why would you want to hold the token, right? So there's a reward system um, here. We know that we're looking at some, you know, 3% uh, rewards, you know, in b, b you know, just by holding the token. So, and then keep in mind, um, they talk about, uh, you know, also getting rewards in the native token, you know, as well as that. That's, that's part of, you know, their, their, how their system works. But I think, you know, my personal opinion, more people will be after, not necessarily the native token, but they'll be after the BNB. and um, So staking platform, so they give you some information here in regards to staking, exchanges and partners, you know, and then we talk about the tokenomics. Um, and so we can see the buy tax and the sell tax, you know, and then uh, just reiterating that security. So um, here they indicate that the contract developer is a noop. You know, so if you're not familiar with a noop, you know, he's had some, you know, I think there's been some good projects he's been associated with and some, you know, that haven't necessarily done very well, you know, but uh, this is a name uh, that people are familiar with as far as contract creation. Um, so they have a safe food badge on pink sale. They do. Liquidity is locked for a year. Yes, indeed. Teams privately KYC'd to CyberScope and Pink Sale. So I think it's nice that they've got a couple of different KYCs. However, I have not seen the certificate for CyberScope. Um, you know, so I don't know if the team comes across the video and they want to share that. They certainly can. And then we also get uh, the contract's been audited. So that's true as well. Looking at the roadmap, main thing about the roadmap is that we only get we, we don't get timelines, we get phases. You know, um, I have no idea when they're completing what they're completing. I mean, granted, uh, we know that we're moving into phase three because they just finished up, you know, pink sale, and that's ind indicated here in phase two. But we don't get any time any time frames. You know, so um, be helpful to have time frames so that we know when the team's going to complete what they say they're going to complete. Uh, I've mentioned that before, and uh, it's be also be helpful to. Um, you know, to see, to have them indicate in some way, you know, what they've already completed. I think that's always a good step, a good, in, you know, uh, communicated, communication indicator, you know, for anybody taking a look at the token that's not familiar with the project. Um, and then, uh, are they going to be doing any kind of V2, you know, on the project, you know, here in Phase 4? Again, we don't know when Phase 4 is going to be. You know, is it going to be this year? Is it going to be, I would have to imagine probably this year, right? But, um, again, more specifics in terms of timelines would be helpful. All right, uh, moving forward, again, team information. And we don't really get much there other than just a telegram. So, but yeah, that's pretty much it, you know, in regards to BSC Bull. So they've got, you know, they just finished, you know, their pre-sale. And they are going to be launching, you know, I think tomorrow, uh, you know, at the time of me doing the video. So just uh, keep that in mind. Um, you got some time to go ahead and take a look into the project and see if there's anything else that you want to know before potentially looking at um, proceeding in the project should that uh, should you decide to do so. So thank you so much for watching. With that said, you all enjoy the day.